What is up guys? Uh, don't mind the mower in the back. Uh, neighbors are going crazy right now, it's springtime. But I do know you see that right there. That is the in-gen air intake for the Dart. Obviously you've seen the title already. So yes, today I'm gonna be installing it on our 200s. Um, and this is for my Dart guys or anybody rocking that 2.4 multi-air. So this install is going to be um, not off of a stock air intake per se, but um, it, it should be relatively the same. So you, you should still be able to follow this even if you have the stock box. Just maybe a couple extra screws that you just might have to look for yourself, but it does come with instructions as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just unbox this thing and get to installing it. Real quick too, guys, if you're doing this on the 200, um, you are gonna need to pick up another part. So this is a 19, 30 seconds or 15 millimeter hosing I picked up from AutoZone for like $2.50. I got about a foot, you're gonna need it and I'll show you exactly why when we get into the video because we're gonna have to make a couple modifications to this to make it work on our um, air intake setup, but it's still, still gonna do it, it's still gonna be okay. So disregard this if you're not in the 200, if you are in the 200, pick this up and then continue on the video. All right guys, so now that we got the tape cut, let's go ahead and open it up. And here we are, we got the cleaning procedure instructions. Uh, so this is gonna be a great thing to keep um, for later reference, every 20, 25,000 miles. Um, and for my guys that are watching this right now, I did buy the hydro jacket or hydro shield for the air intake as well. Um, I'll be posting a quick little video on how to install that. If you're checking this out, I may have the video up or I may not if I just posted this video, but it will be up soon. I will also have a link to this kit that I got. Um, I got this one off eBay. I'll have that one down below. I try to go to Modern Performance, but they're running out of stock right now or they're back ordered. And I was like, yeah, I don't feel like waiting. So I just went ahead and got it off eBay. Um, so I'll have that link as well as for the hydro jacket. I'll have the link in the description. Um, for the video I post up for that. So just so you know, but keep these, this is a cleaning procedure. Here we go. Now we're going to instructions as well as some extra pieces, things like that. So we'll dive into everything we need to do as well as read some instructions when we get to that part. Packaging. Ah, yes. Here we go. Here we go. So they really wrap this thing good. There it is, there's the X1062. This is the air intake that comes with this kit, um, which is something you're gonna look for when you go to get the higher drill jacket, but there it is, engine. I'm so excited, guys. I think this thing's gonna be amazing. Um, put that off to the side. And here's our tube. So it doesn't look like much, uh, but looks can be deceiving, so. I'm still really trying to figure out what this tuned means. I'm so confused on this uh, tuned air intake. It said the first ever tuned air intake. So we'll have to uh, we'll have to test that theory out. Um, but looks simple enough, guys. Let's crack open the product as well as the instructions and take a look at what came with it. Okay, guys, after opening it up, we got our air intake, zip tie, um, uh, some sort of spacer with... <laughs> with a nut and uh, some thread through it, which will come in handy and you'll see how to put that on in the instructions below. And a clamp for your air intake, as well as the instructions. So here are some pretty detailed instructions. So if you guys have the stock set up, I mean, this is a step by step by step picture tutorial on how to do this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look through and I'm gonna go through the figures while I can on the video that I have to do so you guys can get a closer representation of that. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and get to installing this bad baby. Okay guys, so coming up to the hood, this is my setup I have now. No, it's not viable. It is completely fitted by myself. I um, actually talk with God Slayer and I just found like an air box set up that was on a F-150 for like 20 bucks and I made it fit. It's been working. Um, has it been working the best? I don't know. Let's see. So that's why I went and bought a actual air intake for our car so I can put it on for you guys. So first up, 
like they said in the instructions, just go ahead and disconnect your negative battery terminal. Um, it's always good to disconnect the battery if you're doing anything on the engine. Just a good thing to know. So let's go ahead and disconnect that and follow the next step. Okay guys, so once you're doing that, um, take a look at the instructions. Now, if you're working on a 200, they may be a little different. Don't be afraid. It's still gonna be the same setup and it will still work. Just focus on getting the old um, air box unattached. So if you're running into any issues with that, take a look at a video. Unfortunately, I don't have a video of that, but take a look, read some um, forums or something like that, how to get the stock air box all the way out. Then go ahead and proceed on the steps of hooking it up. Um, if you actually look at the instructions, there's a lot more um, information. I think it's more in tune to be in the dark because I don't remember ever have to take a bolt off here to get my stock bolt box off or anything like that. But um, still doable. I know a couple 200 guys with this setup, um, well, the in-gen setup. So I know it's going to work. So don't be alarmed or um, scared because we're still going to get this bad baby in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this setup out and then I'll come right back to you guys. All right, guys, so now the air box is removed and we're gonna come up in here and here's our little air shroud. Mine's loose for some reason, but that's ultimately where our um, new air box is gonna be going in. So unfortunately, if you actually look at the steps, here we are at figure 10 on the instructions right here. We are gonna have to take off our front bumper. Um, I'm just gonna follow by their rules because it's gonna be, you know, to the way they want it and i want to make sure that it's that way so i'm going to go ahead and pop off this front bumper um very simple to do though guys if you do not know check out some of my other videos check out the fog light video um i went through step by step by step on how to take it off it's about a 10 minute process not that hard i'm gonna go ahead and pop this off and when i do i'll come back and we're gonna go right into uh figure 11. so even if you guys checked out that video real quick this is the top piece here it's held in by push pins along here right there and then you're going to have some 10 millimeter bolts scattered along up here pop those out and then that'll move you to the sides and the bottom after the top guys work your way to the bottom which is going to have a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts as well as some screws if you're rocking a splitter like me so take those ones out and then work your way to the side Coming to the side, guys, got three eight millimeter bolts and then a Torx, which is a T27. So T27 Torx, and it's gonna be right up. Find it here in the darkness. Right up here, connecting these two, where your uh, fender and your quarter panel meet. So right where my finger is, is that Torx screw. Take that out and then if you see in the videos before, there's a little piece in between this part right here. Take a flathead, tilt left, and pry out on the side, and your thing will pop right out. Repeat that process on that side, and then your bumper should be free. All right, guys, congratulations. The bumper is off now. So when you go to set this thing down, be extremely careful. I've already gotten yelled at on YouTube by it. You know who you are, wink, wink. But um, so... I have a splitter on mine, so mine's supported up. My bumper does not actually at all sit on the ground. It sits on top of my splitter. But just be mindful of that. Lay a blanket down or something. Unless you got a splitter, then do your thing. So once you're here, just unconnect this here um, by pulling this back and then working this way, this one up. I don't know if I can do it with one hand, um, but get that off. And then you can kind of pull your bumper aside and... Um, get to the next step of the install. Okay guys, moving into figures 11, 12, and 13, we're gonna go ahead and remove this large air box here. So now that the bumper is dropped, you can literally see this entire air shroud made out of some weird material, man. It's like the material on the hood, real weird. But um, that is gonna be held in by that bolt right there, guys, which is a Let's see, it looks like a 10 millimeter to me, but let's give it one. Yep, which is held in by a 10 millimeter. So let's go ahead and break that free and then uh, get this thing off. Hey okay, guys, and once you got your old massive air shroud off, we're gonna move on to uh, the next steps and look how open this is. And now you can see it's exposing your engine bay there. So we're getting there. 
Okay, guys, so here's our tube um, vacuum hose part up. We're going to drop it in, drag it through, set this thing in place like that. All right, guys, so coming over now, uh, like I said in the beginning, now we're on the 200 portion. This is not for the darts. I got my tubing here. I'm connected here. That's going to go ahead, wrap around, and connect right into here. And then what I did was I took the stock tube of our car, and I just did this. So I cut it. I made a little plug. I actually used the spacers that come for the um, vacuum hose adapters that uh, I think Spectre makes or somebody. But I took out one of the plugs and popped it in there, made sure it was all super tight, no leaks or anything like that going through it. And now I'm going to cap off that tube on our car and then connect it in. And now you're good. You're uh, vacuuming up and we'll get on to the next step. So once you get that on there, that on there, now you can see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna clamp this down and I'm gonna find the best fitment. So for the dark guys, as I said earlier, you would mount your piece there and then you'd be able to screw it on. Our setup's a little different. So I'm gonna have to find a way to mount this up to where I can fit my cone on there and um, still have this vibration bar mounted up. So I'm gonna figure that out and I'll come back to you 200 guys. So guys, what I did is I took just a longer screw, went through, checked obviously to make sure there's nothing on the other end, went through it and now, I mean, it's not going anywhere. And now I just gotta throw in my, my cone and we're looking A-OK -okay and ready to roll. All right, guys. So once you got all that mounted up, um, my dark guys, you're in luck with all the easy accessibility that it brings. But um, my 200 guys, once you got it mounted up, everything connected, fire it up, give it a test. And after that, do all the um, rebuild steps in reverse, guys. And then you're good to go and you will be rolling. So let me go ahead Put this puzzle piece back together now and uh, I'll hit you guys with some revs and some street rides. Give me a pull. Right, guys so now we're in the car um no check engine lights or anything so you heard the uh the roar or rev or whatever you want to call it from the outside with the door panel off or the quarter panel off now you can hear it from the inside as well as i'll give you a little let you know if the performance is actually feelable so i'm running my summer rims right now but yeah that's just a regular foot and I can definitely, definitely feel it. It's so much more smooth. Wow. Oh, shit. This is, I can actually feel the difference. I'm not even kidding you. With my summer wheels.
Um, they say this thing hits about seven to 10 peak horsepower and I can feel it. I can feel it. This is gonna go great with the tune if you guys already have it or plan on getting it. guys i hope you enjoyed it i love it i definitely recommend this product i think you guys will really really notice the difference and i think you can do it i would say the difficulty level on this is going to be a solid two out of five it's not that hard um maybe three if you have problems taking off front bumpers but uh three out of five pretty easy don't give up follow the instructions they'll take you through it and if you got a dart definitely definitely two out of five um there's a little more to it the dart mounts up perfectly but it still um has that guided instructions that will get you right through it so i hope you guys enjoyed this one definitely check it out um i'll bring a review to you guys shortly after uh, again if you're watching this and you haven't seen yet um i will be dropping a video on the uh hydro shield or um hydro yeah hydro shield install on it uh pretty simple just want to show you the product show you what it looks like and um quick three minute video on how to put it on it's not gonna be hard at all but i hope you guys enjoyed this one uh remember if you guys have any questions please comment down below hit me up on ig anything like that but until the next one guys peace